All right, so let's use elimination on this one. So what do we want to eliminate first? The y's. The y's. All right, so we need a multiple of 2 and 3, which are the coefficient of y's, so that they're the same, and then we'll make them opposites, all right? I'm just going to use 6. I mean, you could use 12 or 18 or anything thereafter, but that's good, 6. So I'll multiply this equation by 2, which gives me a new equation, negative 8x plus 6y equals negative 14. And I'll multiply this equation by 3. I can make that a negative 3, which will cause them to eliminate. And that would give me 15x minus 6y equals 42. Now when I add the columns, we eliminate the y's. 6y plus negative 6y is 0. And I've got negative 8x plus, yeah, that's an error. Plus 15x, that would give me 7x's. That would equal negative 14 plus 42, which is 28. Oh, nice. So now when I divide both sides by neg uh, 7, I get x is 4. I didn't forget the negative on this one, did I? All right, sweet. So x is 4. <clears throat> and now what equation do we want to use to solve for y? Because it doesn't Top matter. One. Top, very good. Negative 4x plus 3y equals negative 7. And we're going to replace the x with the value we found, which is 4. When we multiply those two, we get negative 16. Now plus 3y equals negative 7. So I'll add 16 to both sides so that the y's are on their own side of the equal sign. And I get 3y equals 9. And I'll divide both sides by 3 and find that y is 3. Now I'm going to stop right there, but please, on the test, please check the answers, all right? You guys have calculators, it can, it'll do that work for you. It's a good way to know that your answers are correct. Now, if you did something wrong in there and still checked, I mean, you could check wrong, and I, that has happened before, but for the most part, checking is a good way to know for sure on a test, especially this test, that the answer is correct.